1923, Louis de Broglie, a French physicist, proposed a hypothesis to explain the theory of the atomic structure. De Broglie proposed that the matter and the slow moving particles have dual nature, that is, particle nature and the wave nature. De Broglie derived his equation using a well established theories that are Planck quantum theory and the Einstein theory. De Broglie first used the Einstein famous equation relating matter and energy, that is, E is equal to mc square, where E is the energy, m is the mass, and c is the speed of the light. Using the Planck theory, which states every quantum of the wave has a discrete amount of energy given by the Planck's equation, that is, E is equal to h mu where E is the energy, H is the Planck's constant, that is 6.62 .62 into 10 raised to power minus 34 joules second, and the mu is the frequency. Now let's start the derivation of the de Broglie's equation. Since the de Broglie's believed that the particle and the wave have the same traits, therefore the two energies would be equal. Now comparison of the Einstein equation and the Planck's equation. We know that the Einstein equation E is equal to mc square and the Planck's equation where E is equal to h mu. By comparison these two equations, the equation A become mc square is equal to h mu. We know that the mu is the frequency which is equal to c divided by lambda. Now, putting the value of the frequency in equation A, the equation becomes mc square is equal to hc divided by lambda. By cancelling c on the both sides, we get mc is equal to h divided by lambda, where Lambda is equal to h divided by mc or lambda is equal to h divided by mv. So here the lambda is the de Broglie's wavelength. We know that the momentum is equal to mc square. So, in the de Broglie's equation, we can put the value of the mc square. Now, the equation becomes lambda is equal to h divided by p. Both these are the de Broglie's equation. 